I'm here today with Jay, the owner of Zuma J. How long have you guys been in business? Uh, this store at this location since 75, making it 38-ish years. I won a motorcycle race. I had five grand in my pocket. That was a lot back in the 70s. So surf shop for five grand. I slept on the floor, uh, took showers out back in a, with a hose. It just seemed to fix pretty well and it was simple and five grand got you locked back in the 70s. So I was able to fill some of the store up with inventory. A lot of stores have expanded into other sports and I think that that diminishes their abilities to serve the people that are there for one dedicated sport. Mm -hmm. So we stick to surfing. Surfrider Beach in Malibu has been around since the beginning of surfing in California. It's the place to watch the local surf or, if you're daring enough, rent a board and take a lesson. Let's get in the water. Now, having been a previous mayor of Malibu, what's the inside scoop on, on the beach in the area? Uh, right now, uh, Surfrider Beach seems to be the space to be. Because of that wave, starting out at third point, and if you can make it through the Kitty Bowl to second and first, it's the premier wave. Two years ago, we were given the honor of the most recognized, most famous beach on the planet. And with that honor, more focus on clean water and how we treat our beach. Mm -hmm. So every month there's a beach cleanup there by some foundation or some firm. It's great because when you walk down there, you go, the whole planet knows that this beach is the premier surf spot. still anticipate, appreciate, and want a good day at the beach, rewarded by today's weather. Any day in the water is a better day than in, in, in the, the office. office. Yep. This is the real in a Malibu institution for decades. Here it's all about fresh seafood, served up any way you like it. Grilled, blackened with Cajun spices or stuffed in a taco, everything is good here. I'm here with Andy Leonard, the owner of The Real Inn. So is this a very important local institution, would you say? Well, we think so. The Real Inn opened in this incarnation in 1986 and has been effectively unchanged since. And we've got a couple old boys retired Every Tuesday night, 7.15, they walk in, the guy walks in the door and they put his order on. He doesn't have to say anything. He goes and sits in the same chair. There's a lot of that. What's the special today? Uh, it's Taco Tuesday, so it's two tacos for $4.50. They're uh, grilled tilapia with the chipotle sauce and cabbage. Ooh, I think I want that. Yeah. Tell me about the food. It must be a central part to all this. Uh, uh, first of all, it's a seafood restaurant almost exclusively. Um, we fight real hard to keep the prices down. Uh, my deal originally with myself was you should be able to walk in here with your wetsuit peeled down, get a Corona and a dinner that will fill you for 10 bucks. What is the most popular dish here? At the moment, I'm gonna say probably sauteed halibut is right up there. Uh, the Cajun sea bass is stunning. I mean, that's what I order hands down. And tacos, there's always tacos. I never expected to be in the food service business for 25 consecutive years. This place has such a, uh, it has its own gravity. Once a week, somebody says, I fell in love there, my first date was there, I want to come back and bring my people. So it's a community. I mean, the real in organization is its own little community. And that's pretty cool. What does Malibu mean to you? It's home, it's also work, and it's also play. When you live, work, and play all in one spot, within five to seven miles, um, you become very dedicated to that lifestyle. If you're a local here and you don't need your ID because the sheriffs know who you are, you can go into a business if you're five bucks short on a sandwich, they know they're gonna get it the next day. So to me, it's a community. And that community is supported by a great many people that do live, work, and play here. 